yo soy la alférez Lucía Rey, soy licenciada en enfermería. Actualmente soy la encargada de servicio sanitario de la base científica de Antártica Artigas. Hello, I'm John, I'm the meteorologist here at Rothera. The Antarctic Treaty Consultative Meeting is the beating heart of the greatest diplomatic achievement in human history, capable to consign an entire continent to peace and science. ATCM will face new challenges as the world clamors for more resources are reshaped by the global change. But all we hope that the strength of the system will continue to lie in reason and consensus, the key of addressing this challenge together. Turkish Polar Research Program was officially announced in 2017. Since then, scientific expeditions have been conducted during Antarctic summer seasons, as well as a temporary research camp was established. Additionally, a weather station and global navigation satellite system were established to measure meteorological parameters, tectonic movements, snow depth and tide level. Turkish Antarctic Expedition Team usually consists of up to 30 people, where the two-thirds is formed by the researchers. The team joins a chartered vessel to sail to Horseshoe Island in West Antarctic Peninsula. Scientific projects are conducted on the expedition route and also at the final destination, Horseshoe Island. Along with the environmental protocol, the Antarctic Treaty ensures the protection of the wide continent and the sustainability of scientific research in Antarctica. In this respect, we are grateful to the Antarctic Treaty, which allowed the scientific research on the continent to shed light on the past and the future of our planet in respect to climate change. Soy el Teniente Coronel Elvio Rubio, Jefe de la Base Científica Antártica Artigas y quería mandarle un saludo junto a mi dotación a todos los programas antárticos. ¿Qué significa para nosotros la reunión consultiva del Tratado Antártico? Es la instancia que refleja la presencia y participación activa de todos los países consultivos, adherentes, así como también de los organismos observadores. Simboliza la importancia y el verdadero interés de mantener un sistema único en el mundo en donde el equilibrio, la cooperación, el consenso y trabajo organizado entre todos permite al continente austral ser lo que soy, un continente dedicado a la paz, a la ciencia y conservación del medio ambiente. Soy el cabo primera Cámara de Cocina Rubén Borges, soy el cocinero de la base científica Antártica Artigas. Hola, soy el subsidio de primera Ángel Correa, soy el uso patrón de embarcaciones de la base científica Antártica Artigas. 
Hola, soy el instructor aerotécnico Oscar Cuadrado, actualmente encargado del Centro de Comunicaciones de la Base Científica Antártica Artigas. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Philip Lanz, soy suboficial de primera clase especialidad motores y me encuentro aquí en la Base Científica Antártica Artigas, desempeñando funciones como encargado de la planta de generación eléctrica y electricista de base. Hola, yo soy la alférez Lucía Rey, soy licenciada en enfermería, actualmente soy la encargada del servicio sanitario de la Base Científica de Antártica Artigas y le mando un saludo a todos los programas Antárticos. Hola, soy el cabo de primera motores Richard Rodríguez, me desempeño como mecánico chofer en la Base Científica Antártica Artigas. ¿Cómo están? Soy el sargento primero Tavares Santa Marina, me desempeño como suboficial logístico en la Base Científica Antártica Artigas, les mando un saludo para todos los programas Antárticos. Я механик. Я тут на дневниках. Витаю! Hi there, from British Antarctic Survey's Rothera Research Station on Adelaide Island to the west of the Antarctic Peninsula. Rothera is our largest research facility and a hub for supporting deep field science and air operations. The site includes the Bonner Research Laboratory, a crushed rock runway, hangar and wharf. Hello, I'm John, I'm the meteorologist here at Rothera. I'm Dr. Clara Weaver. Ryan Matthews and I'm the marine assistant. I'm Luke and I'm the mechanic. I'm Ryan and I'm Jenny. I'm Neil and I'm the model. Hi, I'm Jack. Hi, I'm Mike. And we're the field guide officers. I'm Sam and I'm the chippy. Hi, I'm Nadia Frontier and I'm the marine biologist. I'm Jazz, I'm the radar engineer. I'm Matthew, I'm the winter station leader. I'm Joe and I'm the electrician. 
As the world gathers in Glasgow this autumn for COP26 and we launch our new Polish ship for Great Britain, the RSS Sir David Attenborough, we look at a collaboration and working together to deliver world-leading research on the polar regions to advance our understanding of her and our impact on it. Concordia Station. Situated in the heart of Antarctica at an altitude of 3,233 meters, it is one of the coldest and most isolated places on Earth. The conditions at Dome C make it a perfect place to conduct a wide variety of science experiments. Concordia is one of only three inland stations that are staffed throughout winter. Over winter, 12 people call the station home. An atmospheric physicist, two glaciologists, an astronomer, an ESA doctor, a crew doctor, a technical manager, a mechanic, a welder, an electrician, a telecommunications manager, and a chef. Concordia is the only station in Antarctica shared by two nations. Their cooperation has kept Concordia alive since 2005, when the first winter has arrived. Some of the world's most important science is being implemented at Concordia. One of these projects is EPICA. Using ice core drilling, we have seen how the climate has changed over the last 800,000 years. EPICA has shown us the massive impact human beings have had on carbon dioxide levels. The next stage will be beyond EPICA, that will allow us to see even further back, up to 1.5 million years into the Earth's climate history. In the future, the Ice Memory Project will be based at Concordia, storing ice cores from around the world for future analysis. This is Concordia.